So I thought it was going to be a good idea and a fun idea to do a unboxing video first of this one item and then include it in another video idea that I had that I've been trying to do for a while after I accumulate a bit more items for this video. And that video was going to be like an Xbox accessories video, you know, some fun, cool accessories that you can use for your Xbox. Even though there's hundreds of these all over YouTube, I wanted to do my own take on it. And one of the items I thought about including was this, the 8-bit Doe uh, SN30 Pro. And I'm going to, I mean, I did the unboxing, I recorded the unboxing, and then I found out something about this controller, a few things actually, and it's one of my problems with Microsoft and Xbox and I understand part of it but I don't understand the other part of it so let me start with one of the problems that you won't really know about until you actually hold it in your hands and that's the quality of this thing it feels really cheap uh, this thing cost about uh, 40 or so dollars with the um, phone clip if you buy it you know packaged together if not it is a bit cheaper without it um, and I had a couple of uses for this that I wanted to buy it for because no it's not compatible with the Xbox consoles despite having the damn Xbox logo on it it's meant for cloud gaming and let me start by saying this uh, um, and I said this before on my channel I don't understand why there's these products made for cloud gaming and why certain people on you know out there some of them have commented on my videos about cloud gaming being you know amazing and how they can do different things in cloud gaming I've shown various examples of cloud gaming not being good it's still in beta it's still garbage somebody even argued with me on YouTube or try to argue with me in the comments about how he could sit in a car on a road trip and play his Xbox on his phone with cloud gaming you really can't especially when you're road tripping through those highways you don't have really great service to play these games I'm even when I'm home on really great Wi-Fi on a device as powerful as like whether well, it's my iPad mini or my iPad Pro you're not gonna get good cloud gaming at all um, and so I don't know why people keep thinking that that's a really great thing when it's not yet it's not time for the era of cloud gaming Amazon Luna actually has a better stable cloud gaming in my opinion compared to Xbox but let me go ahead and continue with what this controller did poorly for me now this is partially a me problem for not doing enough research like I should have, but it's also a problem with um, certain websites not giving the right information as well as the company kind of being limited in what they could do. I initially bought this to play some games on my iPad mini because it's not as, not as heavy as my iPad Pro. So I wanted to play some games on this one and more importantly, play some games on my Mac because I do have some games on the Mac that, it, that can use like a normal Xbox controller. But I was tired of constantly pairing one of my controllers to my Mac and my iPad and then back to the Xbox and back and forth. So I wanted to get an extra one that was affordable just to use for the iOS devices and the Apple devices. You can even see I still have the damn plastic on it because it doesn't work with Apple. Um, it doesn't work with iOS. It doesn't work on my iPhone. It doesn't work on my iPads because it's specifically for Android only. I don't understand the science that goes into making these uh, devices only compatible with one brand when it's Bluetooth. You know, I would think Bluetooth would be universal for devices that can connect to Bluetooth devices. But silly me, the guy with the tech channel did not really remember and understand that hey, this is only for Android, it's not gonna work for iOS. I figured it was designed for Android. They say it's designed for Android, not, you know, made just for Android. They say designed for Android in the mindset of it'll work great with Android, but it could still work with other devices. Now, they say you can compare it to Mac and PC, and there is a software used to button map, as they say. I don't know why there's button mapping for this, as they claim, because there's no extra buttons to button map to anyway. Probably just to change what one button does for another one. Don't know. But it did pair with the Mac, right? I went to Bluetooth, connected. It paired with the Mac. That's all it did. It didn't work with the Mac. I couldn't use it for the games. I couldn't control anything with it. So my problem with this thing is primarily that it's not compatible with Apple at all and it feels really, really cheap, okay? Now, here's my problem. I understand that Microsoft is the opposite of Apple with Windows and Mac and all that stuff, 
But the fact that they won't even allow cloud gaming to have an actual app for iOS. I don't know if there is like one now, but it was a time where you had to use Safari and add the cloud gaming web page to your home screen as an app. And that would use cloud gaming, which is probably why it's so very poorly done. And I don't understand why you have certain products like the Razer Kishi for iPhone to play cloud gaming on Xbox when they're not even fully supporting Apple anyway. Doesn't make any sense to me. And I don't understand the process, whether it's a licensing thing or a partnership thing, whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. But this is honestly fucking stupid, if you ask me. In my opinion, it's fucking stupid because why make a device like this that's lightweight and supposed to be, uh, you know, min you know, not as much to carry a minimalist option because this thing right here is a hell of a lot smaller than this thing right here like it's the whole point is to be lightweight and just like when i have my ipad mini i don't want to bring the pro with me so i'll bring the mini with me because it's not as heavy something smaller you know and it is it's not compatible and i also looked online they don't make one that's compatible for iphone now they do have other um 8-bit con uh, controllers the ones that look like the uh, super nintendo controllers and all that and the other funny pro looking one and it claimed that they could work with Apple. I would have to see it in action. I seen one video where he said it was compatible with the iPad mini, but he didn't show the compatibility. He didn't show him using it with the iPad. So I'm not gonna take his word for it without a visual of the controller being com you know, compatible with the device. So in my search to find a compatible controller, even on Apple's website, the only controller they show, or the two options, is a stupid wired one that only uses lightning, so it won't work with my iPads because they're both USB-C, and the PS5 controller. Now, I don't understand that aspect of like, like I wouldn't buy a PS5 controller because I don't have a PS5 anyway. Um, I didn't have a PS, I don't even have a PS4 anymore, but that's a different story. But if I wanted to buy a third Xbox controller to use it for my Apple devices, I would have bought a third one. The point was to get a cheaper option because these controllers are like $60 plus. I wanted to get a cheaper option that didn't use fucking batteries because you know Xbox uses batteries and I gotta buy battery packs for these fucking things. Uh, you know, something that was built in battery, charging with the USB-C cable, Bluetooth compatibility, not as heavy, not as expensive, and to just go. Now, if you buy a much cheaper Bluetooth controller, that's just not gonna last. I used to have a bunch of those back in the day. They never lasted, okay? So my only option now is to buy another Xbox controller or suck it up and don't play my games on my Mac or my iPad. I get it, it's not a big deal. I understand that. For some people, they love playing these games on their computers and their tablets. Some people don't really care. I just wanted something for my leisure. Maybe I wanted to play something on my iPad if I'm on the go somewhere or if I'm waiting somewhere for something, you know, it's situational, of course. And that's why I was trying to get a cheaper option. And it's just, it doesn't work. And it's really stupid in my opinion. And I don't see myself going to buy a um, full, uh, you know, another Xbox controller because I, I don't need one for the console. And I'm not gonna spend all the money just for the iPad and the, um, the computer. Um, so, that's kind of like my rant here for this. Um, they do sell other controller brands like Power A has a couple of them, but again, it's very questionable on whether or not it will be compatible with my iPad. And I don't want to get a Kishi primarily because I don't want to use it on my iPhone. I'm not trying to play against my iPhone. And when you have a Kishi, I used to have a Kishi. You have to take the fucking case off the phone. It's not going to work with the case on it. Oh, the backbone. They make a backbone for these things. And it's the same situation where you got to take the case off the phone to use it. And I think they say you can use the backbone if you plug it into something like a computer. I don't want any wires. I want it to be wireless. That's the other main thing. A wireless experience. It's 2022. We're halfway through 2022. And you're telling me we can't get really good Bluetooth controllers for these devices that isn't Sony and Microsoft and 50, 60, 70 dollar controllers. That is fucking ridiculous in my opinion. And that's my rant for today. And it feels good to do another rant, I guess, for you guys. You know, on the, on the plus side, we did get Far Cry 6 for free this weekend. And it was like $15 at Best Buy. So I, I enjoyed what I played on the free, you know, weekend. And for 15 bucks to get Far Cry, Far Cry 6, which normally is like 60, 70 dollars, roughly, whatever. Yeah, it's something, I guess, you know, that that's something. So, 
that's my video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, a, another a tech video where I can actually unbox something that I'm gonna use that would actually work, and not this cheap, uncompatible piece of shit.